Hey guys, Knoopsy here, and now we're going to take a look at the new Skype interface for June 10th, 2014. And there's a whole new interface which makes it look a lot more Windows 8-like, and overall I think it's a complete upgrade and overhaul. So we're going to just tap the little new icon over here, we open this up, and as you can see, we have a whole new design, which looks very similar to Windows 8. Uh, we're going to start through just on this main screen here, we're going to go through each individual thing. If you look in the top left corner, we have the little Skype icon, and there's also a little notifications that are telling us that we have one notification that we haven't seen. If we tap this, okay, we're already in recent, it'll bring us to the page, if I go to favorites and I tap this, it'll bring us back to recent, and then as you can see, I have a chat with Life in the Woods, which is a server I'm on, and I can tap that and take a look at some messages. So there's a new thing I haven't seen there. I can swipe over one and go to favorites, so if I don't have any favorites currently, I can go to people and see all my contacts here. Now if I tap my little profile picture in the top right corner, it brings me into my little profile here. So I have my little bio, my mood message, got my status. If I tap that, I can change it to away, do not disturb, invisible or offline. I can check my Skype credit. I can check my account for more information. As you can see, it takes a little longer to load than usual. But here I can have my profile, my account settings, my change password uh, information, view history, or view usage history. Uh, I can manage some features like caller ID, voice messages, and call forwarding, and my usage in the last 30 days to landlines, SMS messages, or Skype Wi-Fi. So that's more for the people who use Skype on a daily basis for making their calls rather than a typical landline number. So there's that. There's also a settings tab here, and it basically lets me customize my notifications for push notifications, uh, in-app notifications, and in-app sounds, as well as um, little three dots in the bottom right corner. If I tap that, it lets me choose help, about, send feedback, or I can sign out of my account. So there's that. Now as you can see, the different tabs here we're able to access our people a lot more easily. So I'm just going to tap my good friend Amin over here. And I'm going to send him another message, he already sent this to him previously. But we're going to send another message to him, he's going to be like, what, when he reads this, he's going to be a little bit confused. And then, when you want to send a message, you can also go with a little emoticon logo, a little smiley face, and you can choose one of these emoticons, we're going to choose the pizza. And you can also attach something here in the little attachment thing on the left side. So we're going to just send that, he's going to be extremely confused when he comes back and looks at this. Also at the bottom, you're able to send him a call, so you can just call him, <clears throat> and then next to that, there's also a video call button. So, if I hit the call button, but anyways, there's that. There's a whole new little interface there, and I think it's pretty awesome. Looks a lot more clean, looks a lot, looks a lot more uh, iOS 7 uh, calling screen-like really. And that's just about it. If you come down to the bottom, there's also, you can just start a new chat here by tapping a little speech bubble. You can type in somebody's name, type in A, all my people who start with A are up there. Uh, cancel, I can call using the dial pad here. I can tap my address book and get people from there. And basically that's pretty much it with the new update. Everything looks a lot more overhauled. Everything's a lot more easy. Everything seems a lot more simple too. That little animation with the clouds at the top is very nice as well. I really like that and there's infinite scrolling which is pretty cool and overall it looks just like Windows, like something you see on a Windows 8 device and I think Microsoft did a great job with this Skype update and I think it's just gonna get better from here. So if you enjoyed this video please do leave a like down below as well as also comment what you think of this new Skype layout and I think it's pretty nice but let me know what you think down below and also subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you for watching.